Dear friends, hi, this is Nick Polishkin. Today we're going to talk about the beginning of year 2023 and about making decisions uh, with purchasing or renting your real estate. These questions uh, always come up from our clients. What should I do? Buy or rent? Uh, lease uh, or lease to buy, for example. And there are different options what you can do in today's reality. And um, uh, my advice for you, if you're looking for a home for yourself, uh, not as an investment property, and uh, if you can find the property which you absolutely love, you adore, and you can live in it for at least eight to 10 years, um, you can make a move and purchase this piece of property because in the long run, uh, South Florida will only appreciate uh, in value uh, and because of the influx of people who are moving migrating to South Florida uh, if you're looking for a short-term uh, place to live uh, I would suggest better to rent and because right now the interest rates are very high we are in uh, February of 2023 already and we uh, are anticipating another rate hike a quarter of percent but still uh, it's uh, affecting the mortgage rates uh, so if you were uh, moving every year, for example, probably better to rent. If you're looking for long-term investment and you really, really love the house for your family, it's excellent for your uh, you know, kids and uh, location-wise, it matches all uh, your requirements, then you can buy it. Yes, you will pay um, for premium right now for the mortgage rate, but eventually the rates will go down and you can refinance and uh, uh, you can talk to your bank or to the mortgage specialist and they will advise you on the current rates uh, future refinancing options etc uh, another advice which i want to give you is about uh, the investment properties uh, and even, even buying property for yourself uh, if you're buying the property and you can negotiate the price by 20 percent 15 percent and but it needs some work you can also make the move uh, because uh, by doing that you're buying already below the market and uh, even if price will drop 15 percent you already have price negotiated down to 15 percent so you're not losing anything and additionally you can do renovations which will increase your home value by 15 20 25 percent maybe yes obviously you need to spend uh, money and uh, invest into renovations but what you will get in the end is freshly renovated house where you can live with your family or by yourself and then you already have appreciation uh, in your house and your equity is higher what you paid for it as a down payment so even if you have higher rate right now by doing that you can actually uh, make it worth much more the uh, the quality of the uh, interior. I mean, quality of the renovations uh, also very important, and they will make the price of the house go up. So that's up to you. You need to think uh, about the decisions in today's reality. Call us or give us questions um, about uh, your real uh, your real estate. If you're in the market to buy or to rent, we're able to help you and uh, give you the right advice based on your situation. Again, everybody's situation is different and we usually look at it case by case basis. This was my advice. This is Nick Polishkin, broker with Very Realty. Subscribe to my channel, give us likes and uh, ask us questions.